Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Railroad Tycoon. So I've noticed here, uh, before I begin this one, though, Duluth is a little backed up. Also, I even is a little backed up as well. Uh, we have two trains servicing it now. The second guy's probably not even there yet. I don't even know where that guy is. Let's see if we can find him. Uh, oh, he's still sitting here in Duluth waiting for this guy to show up. Uh, but once he gr comes in here, he's going to grab one of each. So it's it's probably okay. And then once that gets, gets rolling, we'll have Wausau taken care of. Somebody's growing. I clicked past that. Um, but this time, what we're going to do... It'd be nice if we can get another um, industry running, something like we have with our coal up here. We need to figure out what, what we want to do, though. I mean, I can always take the coal and... Um, what else do you take? Coal and grain can easily go into a port. I don't think I really have anything nearby, though. That's what I was looking at before. Um, you take steel as well. There's petroleum. I wish we had a petroleum spot. That's some good money. There's a lot of wood over here in Rock Island. We could do something. Who wants Who wants wood? You don't take wood. No, I keep looking at that. You don't want wood. Nobody wants wood. Wood for sheep. Nope. I know we'll let it play out for a little bit. Let's speed it up just though. And uh, this guy, this guy's finally moving. Oh, we end of our fiscal period. So we're making some good money on passengers. Our bulk freight wasn't wasn't as good. Uh, but it's okay. <clears throat> got some... Got a bit of maintenance and fees. We're still making some money, though. We made good money this year. Almost a million bucks. The last two years. $29 per share is not too bad. The investors are still ecstatic. d and I never came up with a name. I need to, still need to come up with a name for my railroad. Moved up from conductor to army captain. No, to newspaper editor. Better than army captains, I guess. I'm trying to figure out what do we want to expand to. I think I know what I was saying before in the last episode. I was just going to run, rush, try to rush down here to Indianapolis because Indianapolis is a fantastic town, and these power plants are great too because they can take wood and coal and petroleum. And actually, I could have a station right here. A terminal would grab all of this wood, maybe here, even there. Grab all of this wood. And, oh yeah, I could put it... Can I get all of these? I think I could. If I put it there, I could get all of them. I think. And then I could dump off the wood here. There's even more wood here. Which would turn it into paper, which then I can send off to... I don't know, sell it in Gary or something. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and keep going. This is gonna, be, this is gonna hurt. Oh, 54 grand. You ideally want to build in a recession... I said that before, but I'm not too, too concerned about that. Let's do something like that and build the station there. We're gonna do just a station here in Chicago. Uh, yeah, I will. I will sell it. Yeah, you do produce goods, don't you? Because you are next to a port. Uh, how's Milwaukee looking? Did you get everything you needed from him? Still a few more goods there. But Chicago, do you take goods? You don't take goods. Alright, that's a problem. Well, new train. Go to 10 wheeler. From Duluth. We will need a maintenance yard at least down here in Chicago or something. Because this train will not each train has to be serviced, so they have to run to buy a station that has a some place that will service them. So when you're in Milwaukee, grab a passenger and a mail car, and do the same thing here, but you're going to grab some goods. And drop it back off. In Milwaukee. Okay. <clears throat> we may sit on that for a minute. Here's the new guy. Make sure everything's looking okay. 
Looks like he's running all right. Everyone looks like they're pretty well full. And yeah, I think next stop we'll, we'll do a, a Gary to Chicago. It'll be a nice quick, quick one. Build a station, no port, but we can put a station like right there and grab pretty much with a terminal, maybe even there, and grab everything. Yeah, that'd be a good spot right there. I wonder if you go and do it. We have the money. We can throw a quick train in from Chicago to Gary. Should we do that? Let's wait till the beginning of the year. We we'll do it in January. Recession feared. Perfect. That is exactly what we want. Uh, broker. What do we got? 5%. Lower than that. Uh, okay, we don't really need one. We got money. Uh, we're going to do an iron bridge because the wooden ones are going to break. Let's go ahead and build it. So when I was first thinking about doing Robert Tycoon, the, the thing that I remember most about this game was when you, you build, the, not this one, but the wooden trestle. You build a guy and he gets left behind and he has to go back and run. This is the... Oh, exciting. Does the guy left, get left behind on the, on the iron one, too? Moving to bridge. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm I'm into this. <laughs> Alright, good job, boys. Nice, nice bridge. Okay, so on to Gary. What were we thinking? I was thinking that one. Put no station here. This will be a terminal. Uh, yeah, I'll, sell, I'll keep selling it. Now we need another train. This is going to be my Chicago to Gary train. Do we... Yeah, we'll take speed. This will be just quick back and forth. We need to put a maintenance shop, something in Chicago. I keep forgetting that. Oh, oh whoops. So you're going to go from Chicago to Gary and passenger mail. That's all you're going to do. Because Gary doesn't supply anything else, right? No ports. So yeah, that's all he's got. Okay. Um, he's going to sit here and wait for his turn. I need to, maybe I should double track this. Is it worth it? What we could do. <clears throat> Let's do something like, well, Chicago already needs a maintenance yard. I could do an engine shop. So every time we build new trains, it pops up here in Chicago. We'll just do an engine shop, though. Chicago is such a tiny town. I don't know if I can put that kind of money into it. Oh, oh, I got a priority. I mean, I skipped it. Um, repeat message. Look, we got passengers. Priority shipment. Passengers from uh, Thunder Bay to Duluth. Oh. Really? We're already going to do that. He's already heading his way. So, yeah, uh, if you don't remember, whenever you get these priority missions, basically, and uh, so when this guy comes in here to Thunder Bay, we'll see him here, this guy. There you go. He's in the Thunder Bay. He now, he's now green because he now has a priority shipment. He has these passengers that he's carrying in. So if he gets back there, this we'll see this is counting down. If he gets back to Duluth... Before this comes out, I get a bonus of that much money. Which is great. It's free money. First train arrives in Chicago. Very nice. We can take a look at some reports here. Train income. We'll see how we're doing. This guy's new. He only dropped off once. How is my... This is my coal train. He's doing nice. Oh, Duluth of Wausau. Look at that. 700 grand the whole time. The lifetime. But the Luther Thunder Bay is my biggest money maker, really. Hmm. Oh, probably because it's it's a further distance, and you get paid based on distance. I bet you that's it. Should I put something in here? Should I prove this station? Maybe we should put like a uh, a restaurant. And uh, I'm trying to remember post office. I was looking at the manual earlier. I I'm trying to remember if the post office helps the price of mail. I think it does. So we're going to do it. I'll spend some money here. Uh, should I put a hotel in too? Yeah. Go ahead and do it. So we just spent like 175 grand on this station. 
And you have all these same things, don't you? Should I put those in there? Duluth. Yeah, you have all the same stuff. And you have a lot of steel sitting here because he just dropped off. Make sure we're looking okay. I wonder if I should bump you up to... Why aren't you carrying any mail? I guess the other guy's got it. Okay, don't carry it then. I'm going to carry a second steel car and the goods car back to make sure we keep up with that. We might be falling behind just a little bit. You know, I guess maybe we're not, though. Because he carries four trains each time. And there's... And he just dropped off. So I was behind by one. No. We're not going to do that. That slows him down too much. There we go. We got 154 grand from that delivery bonus. Nice. Yeah, that's what I was just going to... You can see the, uh, by looking at these how they're looking as far as their uh, cargo. Milwaukee doesn't have much mail either. I guess Chicago's handling the mail from there, so... Wait. Yeah. That's right. How, you look, how are you looking otherwise, Milwaukee? Looking good. Okay. okay. Everything's looking all right. We do have some good money. Oh. We got a lot of money from passengers. That's, that's on the rise. We made, we made over a million bucks. 1.25 million this time around. So we are doing... Before got no maintenance. Did he? Got a new average speed. We're kind of dominating everybody. Steamboat captain. Uh, number four. One, two, three, four. Wausau to Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. I don't have anything there, do I? Uh, you know what, Milwaukee? You are a nice town. I'm declaring you are a nice town. So you're going to get... Should I give you an engine shop? Not this close. Maintenance shop, at least. Engine shops just allow you... Engine shops have maintenance shops in them. They just allow you to build trains there. Um, but we do want... Go ahead and put a restaurant in. We'll improve these guys. Might as well, while we're sitting here, do some building. I should... There is a recession right now. I should be building my track. This is what I should be doing. Not adding on. We're still in recession, right? Oh, we're at normal. 4% is pretty low, though. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and take out the bond and just go crazy. Mail from Gary to Chicago? Perfect. I'll have that in just a second. Man, I've gotten lucky with these. Are you not carrying any mail? You have no mail? Um, we're gonna make the run to Indianapolis. I may not even take, need to take out a bond. I'm going to continue through here though, like this, because it makes it easier. Okay, I'm going to, is this a straight shot? I think. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna come around this from this. Oh, I could avoid the river if I come all the way here. We're doing that. Rivers always wash out my bridges. Plus, bridges are expensive. And then, first train arrives in Gary. And let's see how we can do this. Where do we want, oop, where do, we want to stop? What was that? About prosperity. Oh, interesting. Look at the low interest rates. I'm tempted. Now we could put it there. I think I want to put it over on this side. Maybe there. I won't get the coal then. I want to make sure I don't overlap this one that I want to do. So if we put one... Let me slow this down. Actually, let me freeze it. Make sure the computer doesn't jump in here. Uh, if I put one here, I will get everything. and It'll reach out to this point. You cannot overlap any. Otherwise, it won't let you build the station. So if I do this, I cannot overlap in that square. Or 
Oh, there's no other way of doing this. If I want to get four of these, all five of these wood. It's going to hurt. I won't get this wood in coal if I do that. I can put it there on this spot, or actually right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it something like this in here somewhere. It's okay, I do another little depot right in here and I can grab that. So that's not a big, not too big of an issue. I think I should put it right there. This square right here. So let's do that. So, whoop, 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 how'd that happen? So let's make our way this way. Right there. We're going to build a station. Now, do I want to do it? Or do I want to go one further? I think this is okay. 40 dollars a share. I will sell some stock. 45 cars a year of manufactured goods? What? Oh man. Uh wow. Okay. 45 what? <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, uh you're going to rush on down to Gary. You're going to be servicing from Gary to Indianapolis. Uh, from Gary, you're really not going to pick up much. Maybe just a passenger train. But from Indianapolis, you're probably going to have to pick up a few things. Mail and maybe two goods. Until we get another train out there. Because that's, that's a long way to go. And it's kind of wonky. But it's the only way I think of it's going to work. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this little thing here. We'll branch off. There's 29 grand for doing that mail delivery. So something like that. And then we're going to go right there. And we're going to build a terminal. To grab a lot of wood. 16 things of wood. And we don't need the speed. So we're going to grab the cheaper guy. And this will be a wood guy. His job is to transport wood back and forth. From Indianapolis to Indianapolis Woods. Uh, you're going to have just a caboose there because you're not going to carry anything out to there. But from here, you will grab a lot of wood. Um, five will probably be good. And just wait until they get filled up. Uh, but then this Gary, I mean, this Gary train is going to... I need to get... Whoops. I need to get another good-sized city close to Indianapolis. Evansville, I suppose, we could hit. Indianapolis is going to need more than one train servicing it. I think maybe we should do that. Then two trains will be hitting Indianapolis, taking care of it. Let's go ahead and go. Oh, man, it's so expensive. That's right, we're in the middle of a, a big boom, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we're going to do it, though. We're going to take out a bond. 3% interest, that's cheap. Where to? Um, maybe right. Actually, maybe right here. Oh, there's more town down here. Right on the corner there. Or was that one? Right here, and we will build a station. We're going to do a terminal here. Yep, keep on selling it. I'll take your money. Even though it's hurting my stock. New train. And this will be servicing Indianapolis and, and uh, what's it, Evansville? I thought it was. So this should relieve a little bit of what's going on with Indianapolis. Plus, Indianapolis is going to be having a lot of paper coming into it, so it's going to be quite a big town. Indianapolis to Evansville. And you're going to pick up probably just a couple passengers, maybe a goods. And from there, you probably just do two passengers and a mail. Probably will be enough. 
When this guy gets here, we'll be getting some, a lot of paper. Look at all the... What? What is going on with the... Who's making the goods? Where's all the goods coming from? Is it just because of the amount of people? Steal from Gary to Chicago. Uh, well, hey, buddy. Make sure you grab this guy. I said frozen. I said frozen. Okay. Uh, which one? You. From Gary to Chicago, right? When you get to Gary, go ahead and grab a steel car. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. You can continue. There's an easy, easy 50 grand. I, mean, I don't know what's making all the goods. I guess. I don't know. It's just making them for some reason. I'm not quite sure, but that's a lot of goods. We're up to 10 now. Um, all right, you're going to have a few more to take out. We got we to get these things that transported. Not you. You, though. Another goods. It's going to be such a long trip getting back there. Maybe I should have built a bridge. Oops. Recession fear. That's what we went. That's what we needed before. When we were building. Yeah, look at the size of Waterloo. Let me make sure everything up here is looking okay. Duluth looks fine. Thunder Bay is about to be taken care of. Looking good. Milwaukee's got some goods, but they should be taken care of. Uh, you need to lose this deal now. Chicago has some mail. Did I lose the mail car? I did, I think. Yeah, go ahead and pick that mail back up since it decided to start carrying mail again. And we gotta get to Indianapolis. Lost a lot of Thunder Bay. Um, okay, it is time to build a uh, priority train. So this train's job, we just need speed, is going to be just taking care of the priority orders. Other than that, he'll be just sitting doing nothing. And you're going to go... Where was the first one? Pick up steel in here. Pick up uh, steel. And you're going to take it up here. And then you just sit... Uh, come back here and sit there. Caboose. I want you sitting in uh, somewhat central of the location when you're done. And Indianapolis needs... I'm going to give you a uh, engine shop. We're building onto this place. We can't even support what we have. Maybe I should put in... There's a good storage, which helps the goods... I guess the goods eventually deteriorate and kind of disappear. Maybe we should put the good storage in as if we can actually take care of this. We'll do that. And uh, we won't do any more just yet. Until our trains can get there. Where is that train anyways? I wish I had that engine shop before I made those. There's one of them. There's another one. Yeah, they're way back here. I can, you can kind of baby them. Which I'll probably have to do. You going? Okay, he's moving. Is there one coming back? Yeah. Oh, we made some good money though. We got good, good money sounds. Oh, 1.4. Nice. That's the biggest one yet. Oh, Lake Charles fell apart. Oh, that's sad. Mayor! Alright. It's probably a good place to end it, actually. I'd like to get Indianapolis taken care of, but yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be an issue. Trying to keep Indianapolis happy. But uh, yeah, we're going to put a cut here. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.